In life, Joe cherished the gospel of Christ. In Christ, I greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, Joe received the sign of the cross. May he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. Song this morning is number 437, and you misled on Eagle's Wings, number 437, verse 1 and 4.
God, who are mercy for sinners and the happiness of your saints. Give, we pray, to your servant Job, for whom today we perform the fraternal offices of burial, a share with your chosen ones in the blessedness you give, so that on the day of resurrection, freed from the bonds of mortality, he may come before your face. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. We'll now have some readings from sacred scripture.
seated. Joe lived this for us. 
He experienced the mercy of God in the church, and it changed his whole life. And without even realizing it, perhaps, he began to exemplify that mercy of God to each and every one of us. And of course, if Joe were here with us right now, I would bet that he would not want us to be sitting here praising him. He doesn't want to be praised for the mercy which he showed to people. Because the whole purpose of him doing that was to draw people closer to Jesus. Joe wanted everyone to come to meet the one who showed mercy on him first. This book from, or this reading from the book of Sirach is really uh, powerful, this first reading. Now we'll praise these godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time, these were godly men whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. What is the wealth that Joe has given to us? What is the wealth that Joe has given to you, his family, to you, Loretta? What is that wealth, really? It would be a mistake to think that it would be anything earthly, anything monetary. It would be a mistake to think that that's the wealth that he's given, he's given to us. Rather, the true wealth, the wealth which will never be exhausted, is the wealth which teaches us that we need to come to God in the church to receive his mercy. That is the motto of Joe's life. Receive the mercy of God and give it to others. That is true wealth. And that is wealth which people will be talking about for years to come about this man's life. So, of course, the question is, are we receiving that wealth? Where are you and I at in our own faith journey with Jesus? We clearly see a, a life well lived here in this good man. And certainly we want to model it. But the only way to model it is to understand where this man's heart was. To understand Jesus and the impact he had on Joe's life. You want to imitate Joe? Receive the mercy of God. Open your hearts to his love. And bring that love to everyone else. Let that love change your life. That's how you can imitate Joe. What a beautiful life this man has lived. And of course, as we've been talking, he was a broken man himself, just like we all are. And that's why we're here. Because the one thing which Joe would want us to do is to be praying for him. To be praying that he would continue to receive the mercy of God up until the day he meets him face to face. And so that's why we're here. To make this act of love for this good man. To pray for his soul. To pray that he would continue to receive the greatest gift which he had ever received. The mercy of God into his life. Eternal rest granted to Joe, O Lord, and let perpetual life shine upon him. May his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace.
be stands. We now bring to our Heavenly Father our prayers and our petitions. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church, confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord. We join our prayers to his. Let us pray that Joe may experience fullness of life with God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. That all of Joe's family and friends might find comfort and consolation from the faith in God and through the support of others. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers. That Joe and all our loved ones who have died may enter God's gracious peace and eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Joe's caregivers may have peace of heart. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us here present may one day enjoy eternal life in the company of Dad and God's angels and saints. <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. You can be seated as we now prepare the altar. Our song this morning in the preparation of gifts is number 528 in Miss Lent, St. Francis, number 528. Sin have clung to him, or any human fault have affected him, 
it may, by your loving gift, be forgiven and wiped away. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory, and with him called back to life. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. Before your majesty, without end, we acclaim.
they sang, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. This time of Holy Communion, we ask that if you are Catholic and you're in a state of grace, you're more than welcome to come forward and receive. If you're not Catholic or can't receive for any reason, you're more than welcome to come forward and simply cross your arms like this, and we'd be happy to give you a blessing. Our communion song this morning is number... 435 in the Miss Lefty Nonstrain from 435. Oh, yeah. 
Let us pray. Pray, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Job, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and free from sin. And so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys him in death itself. Our song will be number 686 in your misled, the loving God, number 686. Thank you. 
mercies, we commend our brother Joe in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Joe in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet Christ and are with you and our brother forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, after the conclusion of this Mass here, we're going to proceed downstairs for lunch. So this time we'll do the prayer before meals so that you can feel free to start eating when you get down there. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. In peace, let us take our brother Joel to his place of rest. Our song of recording this morning is number 739 in Miss Let Lead Me Lord, number 739. 